the few who survived now live in small enclaves, the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Yeah. Fuck me. People will always you should have a Obviously. 
Infected got him. Serves right, you in.
bizarre today. The wind is blowing from the east. That's a bad wind. Hey, kid. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar! Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Apparently, you can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners in our own homes. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my... So, uh, maybe it's revenge. Wait a second. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the renegades are about to attack.
For Carlos and his groundbreaking fence. <laughs> Hope he's still waiting at the bazaar.
Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poison water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pillars. They're fucked up. Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virus. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? An accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Hans? Hans, you there? Hans? It'll be no fun to kill me. I'm weak. Let me go. Drink that water. <coughs> water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. <laughs> It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this, uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one.
Hans? No, I cannot take you there. We're in the middle of school right now. No field trips. Here, maybe this studious looking young man will help. How can I hook you up? Kick ass! Tell your friends about me, buddy. Hans! Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do.
What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco... is dead. I... I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Now keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. at my selection. Do tell all your friends.
But I'll five years of learning and all for nothing. I just have to get it right this time. Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. We raise chickens because Carl has them too. But what does that have to do with anything? You tell me. <gasps>
promise. Is the dark zone necessary? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't make promises when I'm drinking. <laughs>
Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. Do you expect me to just hand that brass Hoosie what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie what's its real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Back on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay.
me at all? Sometimes a little thing turns into big trouble. These things happen all the time. And we're the ones who get killed. I'm exhausted. Ah, oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. I did what she wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, You'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside.
Howdy, citizen. Welcome to Old Villador's PK Command Center. Maya. Captain said she had the brass knuckles all along. She's something, that kid. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see.
Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. Man, I don't want to end up drinking my own pee. Someone's got to do something about the water situation. Psst, you. Got water for sale? I'll pay half a crystal per gallon. Don't make me regret telling you where she is. <sighs> Sophie, can we talk? <laughs> Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. <laughs> My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? 
Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners. And it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarriand. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. Don't keep them waiting. Don't look at me like that. I'm just Five giving you years of learning and all for nothing. And just between us, I just you won't regret. <sighs> Alamed all over again. I've never believed the Night Runners were real. Just fairy tales, if you ask me. This compound Some with mushrooms and the leaves of some weed. They say it fucks you up like in the old days. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. 
I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <sighs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password, Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Aiden, I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out.
walk away.
Hello? Again? How'd you find my secret entrance? You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is... Oh. He told me to say sayonara. That help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. I bet. You see that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> hmm. No wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here. Take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. Okay. I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Well, thanks for the tip. Can you stop staring like that? I know what I look like.
I'll be fine. How about you? Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine, thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Please, please. Dumbasses. Hey. Hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So, what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then, part of a wall collapsed on Jonas on our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah. I gotta make good on a promise. Here. If you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. Not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? That wailing? Yeah, like peacocks singing the hallelujah chorus. Must be hours. They don't attack on their own, but bring other infected running.
This is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Looks like I struck gold. A bottle of risen glory cognac. And some cigars? Hmm, Cubans, the box says.
Inhibitor container detected. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here.
Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. It was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? What's it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Hubert was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods. find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Sure is. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and takes a good. Everybody, shut up. I counted.
Sigh. <sighs> 